Well, firefighters in Cambridge are still dealing with the aftermath of a 10 alarm file that broke out more than 24 hours ago. More than 100 people are homeless after flames ripped through several buildings in the Berkshire Street area. Quite a few vehicles were also destroyed. Investigators Whoa. still trying to pinpoint a cause there. We have team coverage tonight, beginning with WBZ's Jim Smith. Jim? Well, Ken, it's been a very long weekend for Cambridge firefighters and other emergency crews. And believe it or not, the work continues tonight. Let me show you what's going on right now. Crews are already tearing down what remains of some of these burned out homes. A big pile of rubble there. All of this while investigators look to find out how this gigantic fire started. They worked into the night, more than 24 hours after the huge Cambridge fire demolition work was already underway, reducing burned out homes to piles of rubble. The work is urgent because authorities were worried they might collapse. We do. We have a concern with the number of the buildings potentially collapsing, but we haven't determined which ones at this point. So we just established our safe zone. Gosh. The images are still incredible and terrifying. A ball of fire consuming first one home, then another, and finally, a good portion of an entire city block. For a while, it seemed like half of Cambridge was on fire, an inferno fed by high winds, 10 alarms, about a dozen structures either destroyed or badly damaged. By the light of day, the devastation was shocking, charred and blackened homes lining the street. Finding the cause will be a combined state and local effort. Our fire investigators and their fire investigation unit are working closely together to go through that exhaustive ser search of the properties as well as to complete a complete investigation. They'll interview witnesses. Many of those people told us they heard explosions. It's something an entire neighborhood and a city won't forget. Heard a big explosion. I heard all this stuff collapsing. And then when I come down here, I seen all this smoke and the building was totally down and all these houses were on fire. The house across the street was on fire. The cars were on fire. It really was something. And tonight, WBZ has confirmed that three buildings are being torn down here and at least one other, at least one other, will be partially torn down. All of this because of safety concerns about the structural integrity of a lot of these burned out buildings. We should also tell you that at the Cambridge City Hall, they are opening up on Monday and Tuesday a fire recovery resource center. Any impacted people can come down there and talk to various state and federal agencies about how to get some help. Once again, that's Monday and Tuesday down at Cambridge City Hall. Live in Cambridge, Jim Smith, WBC News.